Rillaboom, the drummer Pokemon, a grass type first discovered in the Galar region. Rillaboom is a final evolution to Grookey, one of Galar's starter Pokemon. They're described as harmonic Pokemon. They use a tree stump crafted into a drum to control the fauna of nature itself, doing so to battle or even to revitalize the plants around it. Rillaboom are colonizing creatures, always traveling in packs with the boss of the troop being the one who can create the best sounding beats. Ever since I was first introduced to Rillaboom, it became a personal favorite of mine to see show up in Pokemon Unite. So why don't we dive into how it might play? For this move set, while it looks like it could easily go into like that all-rounder or maybe defender battle type, we wanted to make things interesting and follow the theme of its revitalization powers and decided to make it a supporter. Its stats are very reminiscent of that of an all-rounder being fairly balanced across the board, but it does specialize in supporting its team above all else. It starts the match as a young Grookey, then evolves into Thwacky at level 4, and finally Rillaboom at the pretty early level 6. Because of the nature of the moves that we've chosen for it, we decided to give Rillaboom an early game power spike. It makes more sense once we start talking about all the attacks. The ability we've chosen to give it is Grassy Surge. How this works is that when Rillaboom uses one of its moves, it leaves behind a grassy terrain patch in certain spots depending on the move that was used. These patches will sit there for a brief period of time and cause one of two effects depending on the Pokemon that are standing in them. With Rillaboom or its allies standing in the grassy terrain, their health will slowly regenerate over time. The longer they stand in the patch, the more they'll heal. However, if the opposing team's Pokemon stand in the grass, their movement speed will be cut drastically while in the grass, but will return to normal as soon as they step off. Rillaboom is serious about his lawn work. You do not want to mess with his lawn. Alright, let's get into the attacks. Rillaboom is a physical melee attacker, having a boosted auto that briefly stuns opponents as it slams its drumstick into the ground to briefly knock them up. One of the starting moves as Grookey is Grass Knot. This has Grookey drum the ground with its stick while auto-targeting a single foe to cause grass blades to grow around their feet to trip them. That foe will take a very small amount of damage and will be briefly stunned from tripping over. Grassy terrain also grows around the area where the Grass Knot grew, and the terrain also acts as an indicator of Grass Knot's more deceptive range. Because the damage and stun from it don't only affect the targeted Pokemon, it also affects any Pokemon within the grass terrain that grows along with it. This makes a great early game presence since it allows Grookey to give his side of the team early momentum and control the pace of the laning phase. On the other hand, Grookey's other starting move is Branch Poke. This has Grookey do a small leap forward, slamming its stick on the ground, dealing a small amount of damage to any Pokemon hit by the stick, as well as creating a grass patch in the spot where it lands. Grookey is also able to hold up to two charges of Branch Poke in reserve, allowing it to be used in quick succession. This move also gives Grookey a great early game presence since it allows it to both jump in and out of most situations with relative ease. Whether it needs to jump into a fight and supply its team with a grass patch for healing or even simply run away, which most opponents will be hard pressed to chase since they'd be forced to run through the grass patch that it leaves behind. Now getting into its endgame moves. This goes further into the reason why we decided to give Rillaboom an early evolution curve. Similarly to Pokemon like fellow Grass Starter Decidueye or fellow Galar Starter Cinderace, Rillaboom won't start learning new moves until after it's fully evolved, with the first replacement move coming as soon as it does, so at level 6, where it can finally replace Grass Knot. The first of these level 6 moves will be Giga Drain. This is a kind of complicated setup, so bear with me. Giga Drain acts as an auto-target move that must be used twice in quick succession in order to pull it off. You're able to target yourself, an ally, or an opposing Pokemon. After you select a target, roots grow on that target and remain there for a brief period of time. But after a bit, they will rot away. If you select and root a second target with Giga Drain before the roots rot off of the first target, an instantaneous tether will be formed between the two of them, instantly damaging one to heal the other, after which the roots will fall off. If an opponent is tethered to either Rillaboom or one of its allies, then obviously that opponent will be the one who's drained of their health to heal your side of the team that was tethered. If Rillaboom, however, tethers itself to an ally, then Rillaboom will actually give a portion of its own health to heal that ally. While you can manually target Pokemon just as you can with all auto-target moves, the priority function works like this. The first tether link always tries to track opponents first, and if no opponents are nearby, then it'll target Rillaboom first. The second tether link will always attempt to prioritize Rillaboom first, but if an opponent shows up later after the first tether is already linked to Rillaboom or to an ally, then it prioritizes that opponent. Ally Pokemon always have the least priority, so make sure you take advantage of the manual targeting if you want to help them. After the attack goes off, Grassy Terrain will appear in the spot of the healed Pokemon, giving that Pokemon more healing and even more protection from an opposing Pokemon that they might need to disengage from. And when Giga Drain is upgraded at level 11, it becomes Giga Drain Plus, 
becoming stronger, dealing a slight bit more damage, and healing much more. Now, Giga Drain is a great move for dealing some quick burst damage and granting some quick heals to a single teammate, but if you don't care about damage and want to go further into that supporting nature, then the other level 6 move might be more your style. This is going to be Boom Burst. Unlike the purely offensive version of Boom Burst that we're more traditionally used to seeing, this version of Rillaboom is only here to help and heal its allies. It has Rillaboom start to play its drums, creating sound waves that emit in a large circumference around itself as it plays continuously for a short time. Though you can cancel it whenever you'd like, do note that this cooldown only starts as soon as you stop playing the drums. All Pokemon on your team within the Sound Waves area of effect, including Rillaboom itself, will slowly be healed over time, and it will heal a decently generous amount. But that's really only the case if Rillaboom sits still while it jams out, because it is actually able to move around while using Boom Burst as well. Doing so has Rillaboom pick up its drum and continue beating the drum with one arm. But this causes the beat to be halved, and so as a result, the healing is also cut in half. So it's best to only move when you feel like it's absolutely necessary to reposition yourself, otherwise you may lose out on some of that healing that you hoped for, and it could just go to waste. This is also especially apparent since grassy terrain grows in the spot where Rillaboom first activated Boom Burst, so if you feel the need to move, you could lose out on some of that extra grassy terrain healing as well. This overall though does become much less of an issue when Boom Burst is upgraded at level 11 into Boom Burst Plus, since at this point Rillaboom goes all out with its drumming and doubles the effects of the healing that it does in general. Now following along with Rillaboom having an early power curve, it's able to replace Branch Poke as soon as it levels up at level 7. The first choice over Branch Poke can be its signature move, Drum Beating. This has Rillaboom start to play its drums once again, allowing it to auto-target a single opponent and ensnare them with roots that shoot out of the ground. These roots hold that opposing Pokemon in place for a limited amount of time, preventing them from being able to do anything while also slowly damaging them. And while the time is limited, you're able to extend that duration if you have a good rhythm. While Rillaboom holds that foe, it starts playing its drum to a beat, and if you can keep pressing the drum beating button to that same rhythm as Rillaboom's beat, then it will continue to hold that foe in place and will only let them go once you mess up the rhythm or drop the beat. To add to that, grass terrain grows in Rillaboom's spot, and unless you drop the beat too soon, the terrain will remain there for as long as you keep the beat up and will only disappear once you mess up the rhythm. And this becomes even more useful when drum beating is upgraded at level 12 into drum beating plus. This will make it so that grassy terrain will slowly expand outward from Rillaboom's position as you hold the rhythm, making it more useful to your team rather than only Rillaboom stuck in that one position. Plus, the upgrade also makes it easier to land the timing for the rhythm, make it easier to keep going. Drum beating overall can be a scary move if you can master that rhythm, since it's effectively allowing you to pick an opposing Pokemon and remove them from the battle for a little bit. And while Rillaboom itself is also out of commission from teamfights while using it, I think we can all agree that passive healing it grants thanks to the terrain still makes it way more useful than the poor trapped foe who's just forced to sit there and watch its team fall apart. And for Rillaboom's final attack, the one that can be chosen instead of drum beating will be Wood Hammer. This is probably the most offensive attack in Rillaboom's kit. It has the ape jumping forward into the air, pulling its drum off its back while it does so. Then as it falls, it slams its enlarging drum into the ground as hard as it can, creating a small shockwave effect from the impact. It also creates a grassy terrain in the spot that it lands. Any opposing Pokemon within the area of effect of the drum shockwave will be tossed high into the air, unable to move until they fall back down. Now just like drum beating, Woodhammer also has a bit of a button timing attached to it to make it a little bit stronger. If you can tap the Woodhammer button at the precise moment when Rillaboom crashes into the ground, it'll automatically follow up with a second leap using Woodhammer again. You're also able to turn and aim this in a new direction while initiating the second leap and adding a second grassy patch that will be made when you land that second leap as well. You're only able to do one additional leap at max, at least up until you upgrade Woodhammer at level 12 into Woodhammer Plus. This now grants you a third leap if you can time it correctly from the second leap, but the timing is much more strict. The intended design of Rillaboom is to lean into that defender battle type with its hindrances and CC, but brings a lot of value to the team in the form of its healing. It's effectively Jigglypuff meets Blissey, which is terrifying, but it would do very little damage. At bulk, with how much healing it can provide for both itself and the team, would make this a true king of the jungle. For Rillaboom's Unite move learned at the early level 8, we call it Jungle Jam Session. Rillaboom starts jamming out on its drums, causing large roots to shoot out of the ground all around itself in a wide circumference. All opposing Pokemon within that area of effect will take some damage, but are also tossed high into the air. On top of that, a large grassy terrain patch forms in the whole area of the Unite move. It grants a stronger amount of healing to Rillaboom's team than normal, 
and it lasts up until Rillaboom's Unite power-up ends. Just like the rest of Rillaboom's moveset, this Unite is more useful for providing team support rather than denting the opposing team's health, helping your side stay in the battle while also making things harder for your opponents. And that does it for What If Rillaboom Was In Pokemon Unite. So if you have any Hollowware ideas for Rillaboom, any of the previous Pokemon that BJ and I have made Unite movesets for, or even any Pokemon currently playable in Pokemon Unite, share your ideas in the comments section. Or if you want to make some artwork with your ideas, share them with us as well on Twitter with the hashtag WhatIfUnite. I'd absolutely love to see them. We'd be happy to feature them in the next episode, though be sure to put your signature on them. Make sure you drop a like on the video and be sure to give your ideas on what Pokemon you would love to see in this series. Friends, as always, be sure to be kind to one another, tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.